Hello people, this is the Shady and Matey here, also known as the Shady for Training Blizzard doing another video. And um as you can see by my banner, you can see something different. Yep. I made a new video yet the other day. And yeah, as you can see this is the new thing that YouTube did. Is the YouTube GIF banners. And it's pretty easy to make, but if you're people like me and doesn't know how to use Photoshop or get Photoshop, or rather too lazy to put tutorials on get on getting Photoshop, you come to the right place. Anyways, so we're gonna go and um, paint.net is what we're gonna use, right? And um, I'll leave the link to paint.net in the description. If but I'm not gonna show you guys how to use it. It's quite easy to be honest. <laughs> and yeah, so this is the template. I'll leave that in the description as well. It's pretty simple. That's what I use all the time. So yeah. So we're gonna start with this simple. Right? You're gonna have this going on. This is the background. So the first thing you need to do is to click on add new layer. Right there, so this is a new layer right now. Okay, so I'm gonna do it for a person that I think some of you know. I'll give a different font. Here you go, Reb MC. Or as you know, Reb. Alright, this will be the name right there. And I'll add another layer. <laughs> Um, hmm, what else should be there? So pretend we're talking about Reb when I have McDonald's. Okay, copy. You're gonna, <coughs> sorry, I'm coughing a bit. Uh, I'm gonna open up a new layer. You're gonna use a magic wand. I'm gonna take this out. I'll have to take out the tolerant. That's too much. That's so too much. Uh, it's not perfect. So we're gonna select this by using Control A, and then Control C to copy, and then go to the, the third layer and click on Control V to paste. So you have it right there, and you gotta copy it again. Because this is what I can do, this is not the best idea because I just found out how to do today. So, so, you have it right there. That's the banner so far. That's the first frame. So, what we're going to do, you're going to. Um, you're going to Control C, you're going to. Sorry, Control A. You're going to copy this, well, select this. Control C. And then you're going to go <laughs> and click on the new page. And paste the template right because this is this has to be like the same size for every frame so it won't work if it's a different size so click on new layer and go go back to the first one and click on second layer control a once again control C to copy it then go to this side and control V to paste it. <coughs> um, then for the third layer, we're gonna go to control A once again, control C, and we're gonna add another layer. Uh, go to the third layer and you will have and you will go on control V and they have it. So this is the second frame, right? So right now we're going to work on the little animation. So right now we're going to work on the name. Right here. And then you're going to just move it up. And then for these clowns over here, we're going to move it down. And for this one, 
we're gonna move this up. This for our little shard retarded animation. It doesn't really it doesn't have to be loaded the best. I'm just showing you guys how to um use this. Okay, so we're gonna go and um make a new um image. See the same, this is the the size of, of the um page. Control V to paste it. <laughs> There's no water. <sighs> okay, and on the second layer, obviously you know it's the the name right here. So control A and control C to copy. Yeah, we're half a we're experiencing a bit of lag, so let's give me a second. Yeah, anyways. So control V right here. So and then we're gonna add the third layer. Yep, add the third layer. And you're gonna put this one. Alright, this is the first one, sorry. This one, control A to select the third layer and you control C. And then for this one, control V for the third layer. And now we're gonna try and move this around. Like I said, it doesn't have to be the best. Yeah, it doesn't have to be the best. I'm just showing you guys how simple it is. So, okay, so we're gonna deselect. Right, um, we are going to deselect that again. And deselect that. So, right now, since that word, I am going to change the background Just, let's see I'm gonna put this to um, yellow no yeah I'm gonna put this to, to green huh and I'm gonna put this to light blue oh this is sorry oh sorry about that I accidentally put it on layer three. Remember, the background is the bottom, right? So this, I put this to blue. See, I started about the slowness of my computer. So as you, some of you guys would know, I have a really bad PC. For now, but um, yeah, let's go to the last background, and I'm gonna go to kind of a, I'm gonna pink. Yeah, as you can see, the guys, that's kind of bad, but whatever. That's how to do. Okay, save. So remember, guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just gonna go to desktop and create a new folder. I'm gonna name it Reb Reb's Banner, right? I'm gonna name this R1. The one represents the frame, so what you need to do is go to save as type and then select GIF right there and save it. <laughs> so just repeat that process on the other two. And I'll get back to you when it's finished. And we are back. Um okay the last step now is to open up the unfreeze program. I'll put that in the description as well. It's a very small program to download. It doesn't take up so much space. Well, for me, it doesn't. And we're going to open up this folder right here. Um, then we're going to open up these three. Drag them in there. right? And we're going to just put it like this. So I'll say for frame delay. And then make animated GIF. And we're gonna go to desktop and go to Rev's banner and then Reb name it Reb's banner. Right there. So right now we're just gonna test it out on my YouTube channel. Let's see if it works here. Um okay desktop. There you have it. 
Select it. It's gonna take a while. Yep, there you have it. And that is how you make a YouTube GIF. So thanks for watching. Let's aim for 15 likes if you're having if you're not subscribed. I think you should. I'll I'll feel happy. And thanks for the support. And I'll also see you later.